candidate status is the first step towards full membership of the European Union. We have decided to grant candidate status to Ukraine and Moldova, and we are ready to grant candidate status to Georgia once priorities will be addressed. This is a very defining moment and a very good day for Europe today. Um, I warmly congratulate President Zelensky, President Sandu, President Zurabishvili. All three countries are part of our European family. We've never let any doubt about that. European leaders talk about a historic decision. Yesterday, 27 countries decided on the EU perspective of Kiev, which applied for EU membership, four days after Russia's attack on Ukraine. I think this is the moment that begins a new history of a Europe without divisions, without grey zones, a Europe that is truly united, that is able to include its values for its future. Poland is the most important advocate of Ukrainian European aspirations. Poland stands shoulder to shoulder with Ukraine in this fight for freedom and sovereignty, fighting against the barbaric and brutal aggression of Russia. Even though the European elite now talks about Ukraine as part of the European family, in March, just after the Russian aggression, they were reluctant to open the door to Ukraine. Such a message came from Germany and France, among others. Ukrainians simply prove their determination every day, with their courage, that they are a European nation, that they are able to pay the highest price to be able to integrate with the West. However, candidate status is only the beginning of a long road to full membership. Apart from Ukraine, Moldova also received it, thus joining the group of five countries with this status. Turkey is the longest waiting country so far, since 1999. However, it still has not carried out the necessary reforms. Granting candidate status to a given country that applies for EU membership is a political statement that marks the beginning of a very long road, which may or may not end with EU membership. Ukrainian membership in the EU is beneficial for Poland, as it will enable it to create a permanent and strong buffer against Russia. Publicist Rafał Zimkiewicz points out that possible accession will strengthen the national communities in Europe. That is why the Germans did not want it very much, and the French because the prospect of accepting new members dismissed the prospect of federalization. Yesterday's decision is an expression of the unity of European states in the face of Russian aggression, and it declares a direction in which the European Union will follow. Time will show how much the promise of European leaders is worth.